Hi, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be making this beautiful sunflower barn quilt and we're going to start off with drawing a center line down the middle of our board. And our boards are 12 by 12 today. They're not exactly 12 by 12, but they're close. So all we're going to do is kind of center it on our ruler um, in the middle of a 12 inch increment and we're going to make marks at that center six inch point and we're going to do several of those up and down the board in order to be able to connect them to draw a straight line. Now we're just going to turn our board and we're going to repeat the same process so that way we can have another center line that goes straight up and down on this side of the board and it'll give us our center point. All right now since our board is divided up into three different sections we're going to start at the center of our board and we're going to draw four inch sections and to do that we're going to draw a line two inches above and below each center line that we've already drawn. Right now our board's been divided into different sections and I'm going to take my small 4x4 four four quilt ruler and I'm just going to mark two inches up on each one of those outside lines on the corner and this is going to allow us to make our leaves. So we're just going to line up those center points on those lines and make marks all the way across to the corner. going to continue to do that for our other three corners. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my triangular ruler and I'm going to draw a line from the corner of our center square to the outside corner on the opposite side. And this is going to give us our large petal for our sunflower. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw from that center line that we just created by drawing our large petal and I'm going to draw to the opposite outside corner. This is going to give us our small petal that kind of sits behind that bigger front petal. We're just going to continue to do this on all sides. And that's really it. All we have left to do are erase our marks. I like to erase all my marks so that way I don't mess up and tape something I'm not supposed to tape. And at this end of the video, I will be happy to put pictures of our uh, things that we use. We like Ticonderoga pencils. They seem to last longer. I just make sure I have a bunch sharpened before I start on a board. Um, I really like my Friskers 24 and a half inch by six inch quilt ruler. Um, it works really great for when you do the 24 by 24 boards. And I have a triangular um, quilting ruler that I like to use and also the little um, four by four because it gives me 16th of an inch marks and sometimes I like to be that precise. So I'll make sure to put those at the end of the video and I'll put any links to the bottom. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.